hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm having i'm doing my house tour today because i'm moving out today and i was just about to start parking up and i thought you know what i owe you guys um something like i owe you guys you've been part of this process please don't don't pay attention to how i look i'm about to get into the thick of things so i just thought you know what let me take you through what i had planned because i didn't plan on moving out this fast out of this place and let me just take you through my home for the past eight months and then we'll see um I'll, I'll talk you through some of the things that i um had wanted to do that i didn't get to do and some of the diys that i didn't finish um what i really really would have loved to do the space and then yes we'll we'll see we'll we'll work with the next place so i'm taking you over to my new place as well i hope hopefully i have enough space to film the moving bits and the unpacking and yeah just my thought process through the decor of this house so yes and the next one the next one is a bit hard but i'll explain i'll do a whole a separate video just explaining all that why i'm moving da, 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 da. yeah so i hope you enjoy it we first enter my house you enter through this door and right next to it is a thingy one of these sticky things for hanging keys but those are not my keys and then next to it i put up this uh artwork that i've already done a video on um so right next to the door is a mirror this is a mirror that i used to have that broke so i just well the frame broke so i just added it and then when i i'll explain but when i got this credenza i had to move the art pieces so this was this was originally on till here but then the way this was placed it couldn't come all the way till here so we had to move it and then i had an extra hook which is where i hang my keys from currently hi <laughs> um so on top of the credenza i was using the rule of thirds to sort of do my decor i never got to put up uh, never got around to putting a picture into this um the vase is from mr price this was a gift it, i think it was sweets and the flowers are from house of leather so these are from Chico's interiors, although I've not seen her bring in anymore. Um, I do get mine now from Shop Malista. So this vase is from Healthy You. This one is from House of Leather. This was a DIY. I think it's in my Insta stories. Please check out my highlights. Um, the speaker is from Jumia. And then, so for most people, this is the, like, this is where your TV would be. Or on this other wall. So I didn't intend on having a TV, so that's why that is complete the credenza was uh was a was a purchase i got off of this one of these pages nairobi expert marketplace and this thing is heavy it is amazing i will be redoing it for my new house just because i feel like with the new space i do want something different um the frames are also in a previous art video but they're from thailand carpet uh my seats this is a story now this video i must do uh separately just how i got the seats so the plan was to spray paint this gold which i never got around to doing but yes that was what i was meant to have done um so i have this um cushion pillows from was it aliexpress and in my window i have this this was a diy i think i i, I can't remember where i got that from but this is from mr price the mirror in the corner is from thailand carpet i got it on sale i'd been eyeing it for long then my seat is also part of that story so initially there's a diy i was meant to do that was supposed to add a, a fans above this but right, right when i was about to do it i actually got my notice to move out so um so this one was pretty much complete except from the seats my carpet i don't think you guys have seen my, my carpet is also in an insta story i got it from Eastly for 2500 that was a heck, you can't beat that oh my god i can see my bra and then in this corner there's this wall i actually had intended on having three huge very very big frames of photos from myself so there's photos i was waiting for from thompson then i was going to print a different photo and then a different photo and then i was going to also add a floor lamp here and this is my basket that holds all my throw 
blankets. So I got my throw blankets from Taskies. These are actually 500 bob. I have another one here on this seat. Um, these are 500 bob or 530 something. It was cheap and they are really, really, really soft. Although the navy blue one does shed. So yeah, just point to note. So this, I got this from Game. You can look into my kitchen, which is open plan. Um, so this is two different. So I was, I was playing with chips here. This is a clock. I got it from Game. This is a frame that was a gift from Kathy. Um, so I was going to put um, a metal thing here and my working desk under here. And then the mesh, you know, one of those mesh thingies for just sticking things on. I was going to do that here, but I never got around to do it because these things take time. Um, let me just take you into the kitchen. So that's my fridge, my kettle, which Obama did use when he was in Kenya. So his tea was served out of my kettle. Yay. <laughs> um, so with my kitchen, I was trying to maintain silver and black as my main colors. So everything in this kitchen was gonna be either had to match the aesthetic so my fridge which is huge by the way i'll no i'll show you this on a different day um and my microwave which i also got on sale then aside from the silver i was going for a uh, the union jack theme so i was going to have a lot of blue a lot of reds and then yeah the silvers would have been my whites then my tabletop cooker so this this is what this was the inspiration basically for the decor. Um, huh. This thing is. So this is from. Where is this from? I can't remember. I think Healthy You as well. This was a gift. This honey is the best. I don't know why this is here. This was from Jumia. And then this is a Mr. Price purchase that I made. It's not meant to be for utensils. It's actually a lantern. They have one for utensils, but it was three thousand four hundred. This was 900. There's no way I was going to pay 3000 and there was this option to have this. Yeah. And then I keep my cuz I have limited counter space as you can see and I didn't want to be those people who have their microwave on top of their fridge. Although with my new kitchen, I might actually have to do that. Um then <sighs> paper towel holder, this thing Everything else, my, my, my plate's actually quite colorful. Every, like I have, I figured I'm so, so colorful. So anyway, let me talk about decor for the kitchen. So initially my intention was to use this. So I have this, um, I have this paper, I have these towels that I got from Shop Malista on Instagram. And I was going to frame three of them. So one chicken, one plain red one, and this one just to go with my London theme because that's what I want that's what I wanted my kitchen to be so that those are going to go up here above the cooking place but I've been looking for large large frames the only ones I find I've found so far are at game and they're literally going for 1200 a pop and I was like uh, I don't know if I'm ready to spend that money yet so I was just holding off on that so I never got to do to add those to but hopefully i'll still make them i don't know if it'll work with my new space but i'll try um then one other thing i want to talk about i don't have any lighting i don't have any curtains i just have shears over here because there's a tree literally that blocks the view so you can't see me and i'm naked in this house a lot so i'm really glad that the tree is there because i didn't want to have any curtains if it was my doing i would have no curtains completely so one other thing I, I had really i was really hoping to change was the lighting so i do have bulbs and i'll show you those in a few um i was gonna change these bulbs uh this one as well because my okay if you've not gotten it if you've not seen it already my style is mid-century modern with um that's a bit eclectic there's a lot of color there's a lot of vintage mid-century pieces and with accents of gold well i do have some silver but yes gold for the living room for the kitchen is it's more silver black that's the accent um 
so yeah now let's go on to my bedroom okay let's start with the bathroom first so i got this uh shower curtain from house of leather which was that cheap for 500 bob i can't even complain so the other thing that i had in here was this um basket thingy which is where i usually store spare tissue uh toilet paper but since i'm moving uh, yeah you know there's no need to refill that then i also had intended on adding some quirky artwork here just to keep you entertained when you're doing your business so one thing i liked about this house is that the bathroom well the bathroom and the shower are in the same the toilet and the shower in the same spot but they were separate and the shower was on the inside which means if you if you if you spilt water it was not coming out on this other side so that sort of had you covered then some another thing i love 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 is this bath mat that i got from miniso miniso is amazing this thing was literally 600 bob yes it was 600 bob or 500 i think it was for 99 i can't remember and i have this over the door hanger that i've had for years <laughs> i have this over the door hanger that i've had for years now it's from house of leather yeah so my bedroom was going to be the last project because i rarely ever sit in here and i'm literally here for very few very few hours in a day so i really was not too in, in too much of a hurry to do this up so i already have i put up a work here that was literally only it although the so you've seen the the things i sh the what are they called the tablecloths that i have in the kitchen i had intended on having those as my on having those as my what as part of my decor in here because as you can see this is like everything so my let me start with my closet is a light wood which i like because it plays off against the dark wood of the door and this was giving me some more tropicalish vibes so this geometric print is also very mid-century modern and i really wanted a low bed but for some reason i haven't been able to decide what design of bed i want so far so i haven't even like rushed to get one yet but if i did intend on having it um either white or this light wood so unpainted and just a clear varnish on top of it um then um, i was expecting to also get a chest of drawers and get rid of this and i was gonna paint the chest of draw drawers this shade of blue so that it goes against like it jumps off against this the green and the gold in the in the shears and then the the wood of the bed and the wood of the this there so yeah we all have this chair in our rooms i think the one where things just go on it mine has been crazy so this table was actually a diy so my old room back at home was black 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 and silver for most for the most part so this was a diy but it, i think it's time that i phase it out it's going to be in my room in my new house temporarily though until i get a desk but yeah this is going to be my desk so yes ah that is all i hope you guys enjoyed the house tour it is incomplete i mean i wanted to add a mirror the mirror that was in the corner in the living room was meant to be somewhere here so the bed would have been here the chest of drawers would have been here and then that mirror would have been up above it and then probably would have had a full length mirror here or in that corner i'm not sure and i've seen it as it goes then i also intended to change the light but yes let me show you the bulbs that i got let me okay i'll show you in a hole because i just thought there's no point in changing them now i already have bulbs so i'll show you and i'll tell you all about it when i move okay okay bye so make sure if you guys have enjoyed my haul please make sure you like subscribe and share and tell me just give me ideas what you think what do you what do you guys think i could have done with the space better but yeah these things take time and money so every project was slowly by slowly on top of just acquiring all my other electronics as i've told you so yes i think the kitchen was the only place that was almost complete um yeah oh yeah bye bye guys <laughs>
something else i forgot to talk about was the bare space in here so i really had wanted some nesting tables that i'd seen on wayfair but the tables were cheap they're literally 50 dollars but shipping them to kenya was going to cost me 12,000 bob that's 120 it just didn't make financial sense so i am on the on the lookout for something different or something else if i can custom make it here i'll see uh, but the new space will determine what will go. So something else I also had wanted was side tables, just end tables either for here or for that other end. Because I initially, when I planned this space, I thought I'd be able to put them in the middle of these two seats. But yes, that didn't seem to be viable. So I really, really love this space. Um, I just thought, you know what? I really have to. I can't move out before I document and just you know keep the memories the good memories of how much i love this place um it's my first apartment so like i have to pay an ode to it you know i have to pay homage and just appreciate the progress if you saw this place when i moved in actually you guys did in the empty house tour but the first few months it was empty and now it's been filling Lately, it's been feeling like a home. So I am very, very happy. I'm extremely grateful that I got to grow this much. So yes, stay with me and let's see where I take the next house.